One of my proudest moments in those eight years was standing along President Obama. At all points in this, his third attempt to win the Democratic presidential nomination, Joe Biden has doggedly attached himself to the legacy of President Obama, under whom Mr. Biden loyally served as vice president. President Obama, I think, did a heck of a job. The senator says she's for Bernie. Well, I'm for Barack. Yet from the former president seen Tuesday addressing the Obama Foundation, there has been no hint of an endorsement for his former number two. The world is messy. There are ambiguities. This glaring withholding of support from the nation's most popular Democrat could loom more costly for Mr. Biden as his campaign, now slipping in polls and spending more than it takes in, has begun to show signs of vulnerability. It's a political marriage, and it always was a political marriage. Stephen Levingston, an editor for The Washington Post, is the author of Barack and Joe, The Making of an Extraordinary Partnership, published in October. The photos didn't lie. The video we saw of them having a good time together. That's all true, and they really did and probably still do adore each other. But Obama has a first priority, and I think that's to get a Democrat elected. He can't really spend his political capital on his good buddy right now if it turns out that Biden doesn't get the nomination. Then where is he? He's already sort of put himself forward in a way so that his, his promotion later of anybody else would suffer. The former president's office has released a statement noting the special bond he forged with Mr. Biden, praising his insight and judgment. But even in 2016, when the vice president was considering entering the Democratic primary, the book Barack and Joe reports, President Obama gently but firmly guided him in the other direction. On Capitol Hill, James Rosen.